man George Mosey. What's good, Jay? What's up, Kyle? Uh, last night, mm. Shakur Stevenson uh, won a unanimous decision against Edwin De Los Santos. Mm -hmm. A lot of people aren't happy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's your thoughts on that? Man, you know, I love Shakur. I'm a huge Shakur fan. Um, it's like, I compare it to chess, right? So if you know how to play chess and you're watching two guys play and you're watching moves being made, you can appreciate it. But if you don't know what's going on, it's like, what what, what are we doing? Why, why do y'all even sit here and do this for this long? For what? What's the purpose? So, you know, me as a Shakur fan, I appreciated the win, but I will say, we just talked about it off camera. He did himself a disservice because he, he, I would have liked to seen him at least maybe 30 seconds at the end of a few rounds just just risk it a little bit like just just try something just just because I, it's like help me help you young and like I, I I love you man I, I I love your skill set you're a great fighter but in this day and age you gotta you gotta show and prove um, like like I said help me to help you it's hard to kind of take up for him and he go out there and, and, and he fighting like a 45 year old Floyd Mayweather like you know what I mean it's like but I, I don't know man I know how difficult it is for him to get fights, especially, mm. especially it's a hard style to deal with. Yeah. And so when you have the, the crowd booing mm. in the second round on into the 12th, like on and off, yeah. I know exactly where that's going to put him. And I want to see him in these fights. And so it was like, damn, like, because you know how cruel boxing fans can Absolutely, be. Absolutely, man. And it's like, that's the reality of it nowadays. We'll see a guy like Roly Romero on pay-per-view, but you probably, I mean, as a promoter, you know, I don't want Shakur on my card. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Unless we get him a duck to just beat up. But outside of that, man, it's tough, man. That was it was it was tough to watch. Again, I appreciate it, you know, because the reality is, you know, on the flip side, to be able to neutralize somebody for 12 rounds, a good, strong fighter, aggressive fighter, if you can neutralize him for 12 rounds, that takes a crazy level of skill. But again, if you don't really understand what you're watching and appreciate what you're watching, it, it doesn't, it really doesn't, it, it doesn't make a difference. You know what I mean? And again, he could at least try, like, you know, give me 30 seconds at the end of the round, a quick flurry, do something, man. Give me, give me something. Like, he, he basically just was okay with, excuse me, he just was okay with, you know, Basically, he just was jabbing the whole fight. You know what I mean? He beat him with a jab, um, which sounds good, but it wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah, it was. It was a bad look. Man, he did himself a disservice at the end of the day. In my opinion, Shakur's a star, right? Yeah, absolutely. But in order to be a superstar, you have to please casuals. Casuals will. Casuals determine who's a superstar. Yes, sir. And casuals can't appreciate the kind of boxing mm -hmm. that Shakur Stevenson does on a regular. And this wasn't a regular Shakur Stevenson performance. Not at all. It was it was even more lackluster than normal. And that's not that's not good. Um, that's not good. Like you gotta you gotta give the people what they want. Like you said, the casual a superstar is made by just by by being able to attract fans who aren't fans. You know what I mean? So and he didn't do a he didn't do a good job of that at all.